Right. Shalom, shalom again. Now, the next book that we have uh, is the Gedala, the Gedala, um, the Gedala Adam. Once again, let's show you this right here. The contention or the conflict, the combat, is variously translated elsewhere. You might know this as the book of Adam and Eve, right? But this is one of the original translations from the Ethiopic scrolls. Now, this particular book, right, no doubt, is very, very, the, the original materials in it are very ancient and very old. All right, and this is something that we, we really want to touch on right here. Now, here it's saying, um, we put this under Ethiopic literature and Judeo-Christian apocrypha. In fact, you might have read, what's the book called? The Lost Books of the Bible and the Forgotten Books of Eden or Eden. In that, actually contains a particular translation, you understand, of this particular Ethiopic text. And the original text is, Ethiopic, although um, other variations exist in other languages, but the full text is the Ethiopic text, and we publish it here, and it was translated by Reverend C.S. Milan, Caesar Milan, D.D., Doctor of Divinity. So we give a brief um, preface in this, and that's an Ethiopian painting right there in the background from, I think it is... Um, Georgis, um, Kedus Georgis, uh, Beta Christiano Cathedral um, in Addis Ababa. I believe that's one of the murals there, this beautiful mural right there we use as our, our cover right here. Now, what is this book about? This particular book explains what took place or what occurred, what occurred um, after, you could say, if you look at Genesis, right, if you look at Genesis, this belongs in Genesis and along with Genesis, right? So now, let's um, take a further, a further look at this. I'm going to look at um, our write-up on the back of the book to give you a basic idea. And we're going to be referring to this. We referred to this earlier in some of our lectures. We're going to be referring to this particular book again. It's now available www.lojsociety.org and click on the Books tab and the Books link. And you can go to our bookstore, the online bookstore. So this particular book right here, it, the original title in the Gutters is uh, Gedele, the Gedele Adam. Now let's just go through this a little bit right here. And break it down for you, right? So the Gedla Adam um, in the good is Gedla, right? Or extend that Gedla. You know, I don't like how I wrote that. Let me write it a little neater. The Gedla, right? Gedla. Adam. So this is Ged Le Adam, or as one word, the Ged, right, the Ged Ladam. Right? Now, this word, um, Ged Le, you remember the previous book that we just touched on, right? The previous book that we just um, pointed out that we call for um, uh, co-laborers, Amharic speaking co-laborers to assist us with the translation work. And this is for this particular book. Once again, here's the cover right here. It's called Gedel Weis Gedel, right? Gedel Weis Gedel, right? This particular book by Memhir, Memhir Getacho. Right, this particular book right here, right? The Gedela, um, the Gedel Weis Gedel. Now, this word, uh, Gedel, Gedele Adam, or the, is the, is the contention. And there are some saintly, what's called like saintly works, homilies, 
some call it biographies of saints, um, as well as some books that are labeled uh, occult in its content or meaning, um, mystical content or meaning, um, are usually referred to as, particularly of the saints, are called the the, the gedils or the the gedle. The gedle means the contention or the conflict, the saintly or holy struggle. It's similar to when you read in the Bible, it says um, um, the good fight. It speaks about the fight, the good fight of the faith. So this is what these particular works, um, which are Ethiopic and pertaining to certain Ethiopian and Hebrew saints and certain Ethiopian saints are called. Now, the interesting thing about the name now is that here when we come to the Gedele Adam or the Gedele Adam, you understand, we're speaking of the contention, you understand, or the conflict. And here's a here's a here, here here's a title page of this right here, right? This is a title page. So you can see it's also called. It's usually known as the Book of Adam and Eve. But if you look at the fuller title, right? If you look at the fuller title, it's the conflict of Adam against Satan the Ethiopic book of Adam and Eve, as it's been translated here, right, from the Ethiopic text. And it's a very good, it's a very good um, translation. It's a really good translation. And it helps to supplement, right? It helps to supplement some of the other um, information. You know, there's always questions when one reads the Bible, especially some of the Old Testament books. They, you know, the, the Old Testament books, if you look at it in, in, in its proper context, many of the Old Testament books, um, as, as books of the Bible, they were written to an audience that already understood and, and, and knew the context. Now, we, 2,000 or 3,000 or 4,000 or more thousand years later, just looking at the Bible, there are seeming gaps, right? Even though in spirit one understands, but there's certain detail and information that, that was known in ancient times, and we find that many of these works have been preserved within Ethiopian um, high holy culture, within our divine heritage. So this is a document also of our divine heritage, and it helps to put, some say, the backstory. Some say it gives you the backstory. So, if from a, a Ethiopian or Hebrew perspective, this backstory is is more known. But from a Gentile, white, Western or European perspective, much of this knowledge and information was only recovered in the West when they reached Ethiopia and they found the wealth of these scrolls and documents, and many of them were, or copies of them, were taken to Europe, to Germany, to, to England, to other countries, and then translated, then translated. And this is a pretty good translation of it. And I say this by looking at and comparing portions with the original, such as even the Kibbutz and the Guest, another work that we publish alongside with um, uh, What's his name? Sir E. A. Um, Wallace Budge, his particular translation. And when you study these texts, the original texts, side by side with the translation, you can even give thanks to many of these um, faithful Gentiles who thought it really important to learn the Ethiopic and the good is, you know, and to translate these works, you understand? into their particular native language and fortunately enough even for non-Ethiopic readers or and, and speakers this right here will give you a good gist of the story uh, additional information and probably even answer many of the questions that you might have had and many of us did have these questions in Bible school such as you know, or, or, or in um, what they call a Bible study, you know, questions such as 
um, well, if Adam and Eve were the only two people, and then having Cain and Abel, and Cain kills Abel, um, where does he get his wife from? Where, you know, and then he goes to a place called Nod or Nod. You know, I mean, where's Nod? And then the Bible tells us that he built a city. You know, saying, well, how, how is that? If reading just the Bible by itself. Now, the Jews, um, the white Jews, and they get this from the black Jews, you know, say this, and this is true, whether you get it from the European Jews or the original, like, Ethiopian and the Hebrew, the Hebrews, this still is true, that if you just, just reading the Bible by itself is, is a good exercise, but you're not going to get much just reading the Bible. You have to study. And even the Bible will tell you, study. You understand? That means you have to study. You have to understand more than just what's in your translation. You have to go behind that translation. Even from a Western perspective, this is why we encourage um, the students, you know, whether to get some of the free Bible software, uh, learn how to, you know, um, say take a word and go into that particular word within a text and go back to the Greek or use the Strong's Concordance. All these are study tools, you understand? Because there, 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 there's more layers of information that you need to become familiar with. It's like there's more data that you need to have. In fact, a computer, right? A man is the original computer, but a computer is only as good as, or can only function as well as the information that's programmed into it. So if we have bad data or, or incomplete data, at best we can only get an incomplete picture. So our publishing of the, the Gedele Adam is to help to give our people a more complete picture. And we're utilizing here one of our original sources, an ancient Ethiopic source which elsewhere has been translated and due credit has not been given to the Ethiopian um, scholars and scribes and monks and priests that have preserved these works for more than 2,000 years. It's in more than 2,000 years. Now, the, the latest, or the, the particular manuscript that they may have worked with might have been a more recent copy but it's clear in the attention to details as you get into the manuscript, you get into the text, that this is based on older information. In other words, there's, there's much older information. You know, so some European scholars, they debate, like, when exactly this was written, as they do with um, Kufale or the Book of Jubilees as they do with um, the Book of Enoch and other ancient writings. But really, the real point is that they are greatly, um, um, if not embarrassed, you know, they just can't explain why do the Ethiopians have these ancient documents almost preserved in their full extent and they have found these works nowhere else in the completeness, but have found various fragments. In other words, they find fragments elsewhere, and have found fragments elsewhere of, of the story of Adam and Eve, the additional story. They found this elsewhere, but they've only found the complete within this Ethiopic form. So this book of Adam and Eve that we're publishing called the Gedla Adam, is a complete translation of the original Ethiopic, of the original Ethiopic text. All right. Now, let's let's give you a little bit more of this. All right. First of all, there are a number of rare and recently discovered books, and recovered books and discovered documents, including this present volume, as published by the Society, that's published by the line of Jew society and I, Aras, Yadinos, Teferi. The ancient Ethiopic Gutters manuscript, this one entitled, The Gedla Adam Wehewan, or The Fight 
of Adam and Eve against Satan. Better understood, understood as the conflict of Adam and Eve against Satan. Dr. E. A. Wallace Budge, in the book of the Cave of Treasures, the author, he writes this. He writes the following in his introduction, and we're going to quote a portion of this right here. He says, of the author of the book of Adam and Eve, nothing is known. Some have thought that he was a pious and an orthodox Egyptian who wrote in Coptic and derived the legends and traditions which he incorporated in his book from documents written in Greek or Syriac or from native, native works of the Coptic church. Dr. W. Meyer discovered and published um, in the Bavarian Academy um, two versions of the life of Adam and Eve, one in Greek, there was one in Greek, and the other in Latin. The Greek version is called the Apocalypse Adam, or the Apocalypse of Adam, and the Latin version is called the Vita Adei et Eve. right? Now, like the Book of Jubilees, and the book of Enoch. In other words, this book right here goes in the category and class of the book of Jubilees or Kufali and the book of Enoch, Hanok or Metahasa Hanok. The book of Adam and Eve, it exists in a complete form only, and make a note of that, only in Ethiopic or Gutters where it is called Gedla Adam Wehewan, the fight of Adam and Eve against Satan. And then there are certain better known manuscripts and most of this translation, um, the earliest known one, I think they got one that was written in the reign, a manuscript that's in the British Museum. It was written in the reign of um, Bekafa, who was king of uh, Ethiopia or Abyssinia in 1721 to roughly 1730, right? Um, it was one of the chief authorities used by um, one named Trump in the preparation of his edition of page 12, the Ethiopic text which appeared at Munich in 1880. Now, translation of the complete book have been made by Dillman, August Dillman, another um, European or German Ethiopicist or Orientalist Ethiopicist in his um, Das um, Christalich uh, Christalich Adam book in um, uh, Gottingen 1853 and then Milan who is our author right here translator should we say published the book of Adam and Eve in London in 1882 so it took a while for it to really reach into the English language and in fact uh, the, the latter version of this particular book reached into the English language um, circa roughly 1880, 1882. All right now this is a very very important work right here and there's there's much in this particular volume um, and to go through it all right now we'll just give you a little bit from the title page right here the book of Adam and Eve also called the conflict of Adam and Eve with Satan a book of the early Eastern Church the early Eastern Church in other words of the original church before the hostile takeover you know by the, the, the Romanists and it was translated from the Ethiopic and it has notes in this particular volume Interestingly enough, and this is one of the reasons why we want to publish it, because some of the notes were from the Kufale, which is Jubilees, the Ethiopic Jubilees, um, the Talmud, which is the ancient Judaic teaching, the Midrashim, the Midrash, and other Eastern works um, by the Reverend C. Um, S. C. S. C. Milan, D. D. And this is 1880. Um, 1882. So um, this particular book, there's, there, there's some parts here that I'm, I'm definitely going to 
now that I also have a hard copy of it, because before I only had a digital copy, but now that we got a hard copy of this, um, it'll be easier for us to reference certain things, and then the ones can actually, you know, study it, find it, and have the evidence. The main thing is to have the evidence, but it helps to really complete um, the story of Adam and Eve. In the Bible, we basically get the overview. It's, it's true, it's right, it's exact in its simplicity, but there's more details that are necessary in order to really um, understand it or know it in its proper context because there's been so much disinformation on Adam and Eve out there from a white Western Gentile perspective. The, it's, it's like we've been bit by, you know, the snake, so now we need a brazen, you know, snake to be lifted up, the, you know, um, in order to take away that. We need the fuller story to, so that we can um, overstand and overcome a lot of the false, um, you know, the false whitewash and confusion of the Gentiles concerning this first story. This is like, this is like the foundation of the whole Bible, in, in other words. If, if you don't understand the beginning, we ask the question, how can you properly understand the end? So this book is also available as you're able to get a copy of it, the Gedla Adam, or the conflict of Adam and Eve against Satan. All right, get a copy of it. All right, Shalom. Rastafari, more to come, stay tuned.